Hey everybody, welcome to Demystifying Home Recording. And today I'm going to just lay down some guitar tracks, play around with some plugins, and do a little editing and just kind of show you how easy it can actually be to do that. So I have a Reaper session open. Um, I have my template open. I have um, just a guitar, basic guitar track coming in. And um, for my plug-in, not sure what I got on this, the, the Soldano. So basically the, the the, the guitar plug-in, this is a real basic plug-in, the Soldano. But it's great for metal. <clears throat> and It's got different speakers that you can see, uh, different mic placements. Um, it's got the head, <clears throat> the effects. Um, it's just really, really basic. It's not like Amplitude or something like that. It's just really basic, but very, very good tones. Um, all the time stuff, reverb, um, delays, it sounds killer. I think I might be able to turn that up a little bit. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is open Addictive Drums. I'm going to just grab a rock song. Um, what they do here is they put the songs in, they, they put the beats in order of a song. So it's going to have right over here, it says all chorus, intro, middle. Um, and these are just kind of fun. And I know that if I play riffs that are eight and four measures, I know what I can expect, you know. Um, for the rock song, it gives me a, um, a count in. So it's, I got to start it at the beginning. So it's. So I can look at this and I can see that it's on the hi-hat. And right here, right here you can see it changes to a closed hi-hat. So that would be the chorus. And that's pretty much all I need to know for right now. Um, so I know I got my eight bars and then it's going to come down. Um, so I'm going to just play around a little bit and see what, what we can come up with. And that is very typical of what I do. So now I'll go back and I'll listen to that. Do a little mixing. Bring up the drums. flub this one up a little bit so I'm gonna have to do something about that so I kind of like the first riff it's okay so I'll listen to that and that starts right there so I will I will select all and split the audio so control a and then s for split here. It sounds like I flubbed it coming out of it. So, um, let's hear that riff. Right there I did it pretty well, so. 
So I'll take that, split that, and grab that riff. Now you gotta play on time for this to work, for the most part. So I will take that, where did I mess that up the second time? Right there, so I guess I'll just hit split and delete that. And then I'll just take this little piece that I think I got okay, I'll hit control, drag it over and put it right there. Then um, I'll, I like to zoom in on this a little bit, see what's going on. And this is where the magic kind of can happen with editing. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. What I'm looking for, if you look at this right here, <clears throat> you can see there's a crossfade right there. And it actually sounded pretty good. I don't think I need to do anything to it. Um, it had a pretty good patch there. Yeah, and it's a little sloppy, but that's okay. Now I'll come over here and kind of see um, what... So I'm going to just lose all of this because once I establish a four bar riff, I'm done. And I'm done. So this stuff now okay so here's here's where um, it gets weird because most people don't like play right on the beat so what I have done here is I split that audio but if I turn off the magnet right here um, it's a, all s does that I can pull this out and I can see if I zoom in you can see that that riff starts just right before the, the quantized beat. So I want to keep that. I'm not going to worry about it now because, you know, I know it's there. Um, but sometimes when you're editing and you push this stuff together, it's going to sound glitchy. So I'm going to see, let's see here. I'm going to turn my magnet back on because I'm trying to edit this and I forgot where I was. So we got, um, okay, so I'll take this. This sounds pretty good. I'm going to group that and then I'm going to duplicate it. And that'll be like my course. But I want to listen right here and see what's going on with that if that's a clean cut. <laughs> clean cut it's a little sloppy but that's okay what I'm really want to show you is how to put these together and of course there's gonna be mistakes and sloppy playing if it's me um, and I improvised it by the way just improvise I could fix that <laughs> so, dug, dug it. let's see here um, right here I'll grab this I'll grab that and that's four, so I'll just take these out. And I'll just clip this and drag it over and see how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. Um, so I'm just, I played that riff earlier. Uh, I'm just trying to put a song together really quick. I'll, you know, if I, if I write something that is like really good, um, I'll redo all the guitar, but this will give me a framework. <laughs> drum fill there. I think that's where this other part came in. No, so that actually, so what I did right here with this is that was the actually the end of this riff. So I'm thinking I can just get rid of this and then pull this over and then hear this. Let's see how this sounds. That doesn't go with the drums well, but I didn't even know what the drums were going to do. So then I'll, I'll take a look at this. I want to look at this waveform and see what I can do to blend this together a little bit better. And it looks a little glitchy, so maybe I'll just 
Um, I gotta be in slip mode or I gotta turn off the magnets to do this. Yeah, so now I can just grab this audio and what I'll do is I'll just pull it until it crossfades just a little bit with that and see how that sounds. Yeah, see, I think that sounded good. Just did a little crossfade on that punch in. Something weird happened because that drum is, for some reason, it's a beat short. So let's see how that sounds. <laughs> it just must be a little drum break that they put in there. So that's fine. Um, I'll take this and just kind of go like that. Now when I know to go and re-loop this, I'll have to go one beat ahead. So now what I'll do is, um, since we have an intro, I'll go right there where that intro is and I'll turn my magnet back on. That locks me on the grid. Select all, um, and then I'll take this, shift control G and group it. And then I will control click drag this. And I, like I said, I gotta go one beat out. And this is looking kind of weird. So it might not be working right here. Um, so it might be just that break. So let me see what's happening here. Yeah, that's not bad. So now I got this little bit of audio here. I'll hit um, Alt S to turn the magnet off and then I'll just take this and go like that. Um, then we just have a little break in here. That went too, too much. Yeah, okay, so... Ah! If I put the playhead there and I use my up and arrow keys, it will center it automatically. Yeah, so this is actually fine. I'll just leave that there. When you get to the end of a loop, what you'll see is this little, these little um, triangles that indent, meaning that you're going to start grabbing audio from the other side. So um, I'll hit control Z. Oh, shift control Y. Um, Let's see how that sounds. And the nice thing about this is that I can get this idea down um, really fast. So in the length of time it took me to do this video, I kind of have this idea. Um, <clears throat> but the thing I wanted you to see was some of the editing, um, how you can just do crossfades like that, blend things together, fix mistakes. Um, and I'm, I'm probably not gonna do anything with this song. Sometimes I write something and I'll send it to one of the band guys and they'll be like, man, I love this. This is great. And that happened with uh, Heaven Fell. Um, a couple songs that I wrote, I just didn't really think they were that good. So sometimes I send them over to Richard and he works his magic. We, we share the Reaper um, equipment. So all I have the same setup on my computer that he has on his. So I can take this, download it, send it to him and then he can open it up and he can see exactly what I'm looking at. And then he can play bass to it, he can grab it, he can rearrange it. He's better at editing this than I am. Um, 
And anyway, that's just some fun editing you can do in Reaper. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment. Everybody have a great day.